games here. Oh, yeah. Ngayon, eh. Pero uh, there's a statement now na kung ganito yung nangyayari, based on that game number one, baka iba pa rin yung kalibre. Ma baka nga, pwede sabihin natin, malayo kahit nasa bottom. Your yung kalibre ng Geek Punk against STI. Tsaka ano yun, ha? may testament din na isa pa na Geek Punk PH. They can definitely execute whatever their lineup uh, requires. Kasi mm -hmm. for the longest time, nakikita natin sa Geek Punk PH, hindi sila nag execute kung ano yung kailangan ng lineup nila. Pero in the specific game, kahit na wala yung early game control, they still went for what the uh, you know what the uh, lineup requires out of them. On the side naman ng STI, nakikita natin yung improvement nila along this uh, the way dito sa FP, sa regular season natin sa draft nila. But yun nga lang, they have to work on sa execution talaga nila in game kasi yung sasayang eh, di ba? From maybe for from uh, the first first week Nung naglaro yung STI, wala talaga. Medyo hindi talaga sinas hindi natin nakikita na okay yung draft. Pero from uh, this third week, nag-improve. But yun nga lang, medyo may mga mali sa execution. Siguro yeah. yun na lang. Pero anyway, may ano pa naman sila eh. Um, four to yeah, five yeah, may other series. Pa. Actually, oh. with just two weeks, you can uh, change a lot of things. Oh, oh yeah. Kaya pa. Uh, uh, pinaka napapansin ko, kahit two weeks, or depende talaga sa amount ng laban. Kunyari, if you have like three matches, Medyo two matches na nanganib ka na talaga niyan eh. Two matches remaining tas nasa bottom pick ka. Pero if you have three matches remaining pa, uh, there's a lot to be done from there. Actually, if you like uh, get a win streak ng parang 2-0, 2-0 dito, imagine the amount of uh, teams na may hihila mo pa baba habang umaangat ka. Uh -huh. That's the possibility, as I mentioned earlier nga, of the running scoring system dito sa MPL. So, mm -hmm. we have the drop here, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, so, actually, tapos na tayo dun sa first rotation of bats. We're doing the first rotation of picks here. What are your thoughts, guys? Uh... I don't like the the fact na STI tinatanggal nila yung Cecilion and Ling. Mm -hmm. It shows to me that they lack research. Uh, I think they've picking. used Cecilion zero times here for Geekfam PH. They haven't used the hero yet. Okay. I, I might be wrong, pero okay. I don't really see Geekfam PH utilizing the uh, Cecilion. It, it's not their play style. Because what you want oh. is uh, supports that actually complement your course. Good, easy, and exhort. They want early game pressure. That's why they like picking up these heroes. Cho, yeah. uh, Farsa. Because once Parsa. Not online yung core yeah. mo, they they want supports that can actually go with them. And hindi ito yung mga hinaharap mo sa sa, uh, sa ban for SDI. Yes, you may have uh, you may have snatched the Selina away from Geek Fan PH, but you've given them. Two of the most comfortable heroes for them, Farza and the Cho. There are better odds actually of a Farza getting chosen nang kumpara kay Cecilion pa rin naman, no? We do understand that Cecilion is really strong, pero hindi sa pubs lang eh, di ba? Ganun eh. Ang actually curious ako dito is the adjustment of this game number one. You did mention paring midnight that on game number one, STI ay naglapag, no? They actually have a nice scaling composition. They got their early game in, but their early to mid game is not really that perfect. Parang maganda lang yung early game nila, but they have this strong spike talaga sa late game. Cecilion plus the Claude. I do believe na sa sa situation ngayon ng STI, piling ko, laban na lang muna. Huwag ka na munang mag-gamble na makakasak sa late game. Switch it up. As in, ano na lang, hataw. Kumbaga. Pero if you want that, you'd actually be fine of letting go the Cecilion. Kasi mas bait pa nga yun eh. Pag binigay mo si Cecilion, now you can assure yourself na, guys, late game sila. Oh, tayo lumaban early game. Early. Yan. Oh, para hataw kayo sa early. Kasi hindi talaga gumagana sa atin yung late game. Eh. Yes. Yeah. Actually, yes for me naman though, for the first three picks ng dalawang team na to, okay naman. na uh, Wala naman ako nakikita mali. Siguro sa ban na lang na pinoint out ni Midnight kanina yung mga bans ng STI dito. But for their picks, so far, for me, okay yan. Kasi protection, initiate, both of them has this. And at the same time, for Geek Fam naman, yung zoning capability nitong Farsha, for uh, STI naman, kaya rin eh. They can zone uh, as well. Uranus can go for the front line uh, protection and then uh, Digi can be on the back line. But magkakatalo na lang siguro dito yung pipiliin nilang damage dealer. Sorry mga Para carries. Uh, I know. Let's see here. Okay. There is actually uh, an expression of disappointment simula sa iyo paring midnight. Yeah. What happened? What, what are your thoughts on this running club? Uh, I, I mean, I, mean I, I can say this. SDI, they definitely would have wanted the Nana. Kasi the Kufra is on the side of Geek Fan PH. They should have picked it first bago tong carry. Kasi yes, kahit ibigay mo yung uh, carry on the side of Geek Fan PH, you don't care. You're going for the early game lineup. That's why I hate the Granger band so much. Oh, hindi yeah. hindi nagko alam mo, hindi nagko-coincide kung ano man yung gustong gawin ng SDI. Adjustment mula sa game number one. Kasi no? pwede ka mag-ban ng carry. Uh -oh. Pick up the Granger, then kahit magnaan yung Geekman PH, who's gonna be their marksman? Oo nga. Ba wala. Ano yung direction, ano yung lituan. Maraming kari nga eh, di ba? Tapos, ito may Zaz din. 
So, parang, <laughs> sang direction. So, you're fine. Pareho silang may Pokemon na ilalabas dito. Yung sa Nana, tsaka yung sa Zask. Yeah. Saan yung direction ng drop? Ano ba? Magpo-push ba tayo mabilis? It's Magpapaskill yun, eh. ba tayo sa late game? Zask. It's a, it's a nice cloud counter. Kasi, okay. eh, kahit paano may pangsalaga ng basic duet. Uh, Problem is, you're fighting scaling against Geek Pump PH, who fights early game better with a Farsa Cho and a Kufra. And yung carry cloud, ilang beses na nating napatunayan yan. Yes, carry is a very, uh, very late game oriented marksman. One of the best late game marksman out there. Pero in a 5v5 composition, Claude always wins that affair. Mm, yeah. So hindi ko maintindihan yung direction STI. Okay, let's have our take for your prediction sa quick one. Maring guys, Aya. Uh, I'm gonna go for the lineup of Team Geek Fam in here. Mas gusto ko rito yung overall setup nila. Mm -hmm. Okay, setup for Geek Fam. What about you, Midnight? Geek fam, no doubt. Yeah. Pag nanalo este dito, di ako magkakape sa linggo. Wow, may iba ka. <laughs> Kekdos pa si Mari din. Actually, I'm just gonna be basing it on from the performance of game number one. Mm -hmm. I'll put my vote on Geek fam. That is unanimous na naman. Yup, lumipat kami mga kaibigan. Baka mali na naman. Game number one eh. Hopefully, mali tayo. Yeah. So, game number three, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, let's go to the blow by blow action. Datala ng ating mga casters. Alright, this game is gonna decide whether Midnight is gonna have coffee all week or not. Welcome yep. back for game two here. What? Geek Fam versus SDI. What a sacrifice right there. What a sacrifice. For, uh, we salute for Midnight. Yeah, we are back, guys, man, Gene and Rockhard. What's up? Uh, what do you call us? I don't know. Yeah. What, what time then? But again, it's game number two. Can SDI extend this to game three? But uh, look. By the looks of it, yep. Geek Fam, I, I I don't know, in my opinion, they have the better draft here. Well, yeah. How about you, man? I mean, we were talking before the draft, uh, while during the draft was uh, happening, and uh, I gotta say, their four-man rotation here is gonna be super solid. Yeah. They, this is a lineup that can leave the quad uh, on alone. its own. Yeah, he right? can leave it alone. He can, they can leave Crip uh, Zoo, I, I mean Cartesi, alone, unlike... Game number one, which actually Team SDI has the same type of formula, but again, they don't have enough damage to pick off heroes to yeah. go for the 4-1 rotation, but right now, it's different for the side of Geek Fam. But there's an interesting pick here. You have this Zask yes. on the lineup yes. of Team SDI, which is actually a high win rate hero yep. all throughout MPL. But again, guys, an important game. For Team SDI, this game will dictate their destiny <laughs> in the MPL. Yes. Yeah. I mean, we were talking about that. If Geek SDI loses this, they're negative 10 on the scoreboard. Yes. With Geek Fam moving up to negative 5. Yes. Which is almost twice the score that yes. they need to get back. And, and, so, yeah. Imagine what that does to the mindset of SDI if they lose this. I, I, definitely, wow. I definitely agree with you. I, again, like Shinbu said, uh, formally we are now ha at the half. Of the regular season, and it is it is this day that you will actually like hypothesize or probably see yep. which teams are going into the playoffs. Because again, guys, every win counts in around Robin, and, and 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 again, we are at a lose minus win yes. form format. So we you really need that two zero. For your team, let's go. Let's go. Game number two, ladies and gentlemen, the four-one lineup of Geek Fam versus the late game sustain. Yes. And push for the side of STI. Yeah, late game super scale with the Zask, with the with the carry. Yep. I mean Zask is just so strong with the ultimate, but you know what? Carry is just a beast. Yeah. But Every if time. and only if they can control the map. You know what? If they want to control the map, they have two of the best heroes to do it. Yeah. Vision with the Diggy. Yep. Vision with the Selena. And uh, make that three because you have the uh, the the worms oh, yeah. from uh, from Zas. So yes. again, if you are a Claude or probably a uh, a Nana. You're really gonna hard, uh, have a hard time in positioning yourself and get all of those damage. But le let's see here still, yeah. the range game is on the side of Geek Fam because you have this Farsa. There you go. Again, both of the teams starting it out safe. Uh, getting their uh, blue buffs and getting their own little wanderers in the mid lane. But again, uh -huh. why not here? Oh. Initiating the team fight. This is what I was talking about. Perfect execution from why not slows down UG for first blood right there. What a play! Same plan for both of the teams. The only difference is uh, Team Geek Fam getting the upper hand because of the stun and because of yes. the Molina smooch. There's the slows, Ooh. and they will now delay the farm for uh, Mr. Yuji, Mr. Mage Dad. Yep. What are you gonna do to get back? And that's a big question right now. May doing his very best on the bot lane as well, but 
Man, I feel so bad for Yuji. I mean, yeah. they were SDI had so much trust in the guy. They left him alone in the mid lane against three people. Yeah. Just because he, they know they can survive. But look at the top lane Ooh. again. Okay. The thief will fall down. This time okay. they're trying to go oh. for the revenge. Oh my gosh, the flame shot. Unfortunately no. for Yuji, quite a, a little bit of mistake there. Yes. For Yuji, but again, okay, that is the revenge arrow oh. for Lembot. So, okay. okay SDI, they're good. doing fine. They're doing that, fine. Yeah. Nice pick off. And if you want to give kills over, you got to give it to the to assist to the to carry. You yep. got to give it to the Zask. Yep. They're doing the right thing. They're here. doing the right thing. Plus, they did delay Curtizzi here, who, who, again, like what we've said, needs to farm. Yep. He has the bounty hunter here, so I think he needs to utilize this. Team SAI, they're not backing down for a f uh, from a fight. There you yep. go. That is the uh -huh. setup. Bouncing ball coming in from Why Not. Feathered airstrike from Exhort. Just to spam out the waves. Yep. What and they're defending this top tier tower. Oh my god, what happened to Yuji right there? He just got taken out there oh on my. the side. May going down as well as a revenge. An off cam kill after an off cam kill right here. Yuji, oh no, this is bad news. Yeah, it is. I for think their team. Back! Back to the ball game. Alright, so the bottom lane, Cartesi again against Nick. So no immediate threats against Cartesi. Yeah. He can take his time. The only problem with Cartesi is he's not utilizing that bounty hunter properly. Yeah, but you know? yeah, but again, he has all the space in the world to uh, just farm. I think if you uh, if you actually if you are a Claude as a Claude player myself, yeah. I don't look for kills. That's true. Yeah, the, the kills will just come and go. Your only it's a bonus. Yeah, it's a bonus. Your yeah. only priority is just farm up. All of the waves make. Yeah, I agree with right. you, Rockheart. I definitely agree with you. But same goes for SDI uh, right here because Gripsu. Five seconds in, going back, 2 2. What's gonna happen? You know what? I like this because they have an advantage. Because SDI, they're not ready with the traps, they're not ready with the time bombs. Oh! So they have to just back off. Yeah. And, uh, this is a perfect time to take a trail, but they're ignoring that. They're ignoring that. And yeah, for yeah. the meantime, they just want to play safe because they're not sure. Maybe SDI is in the bush here yep. somewhere. They don't you want know? to risk they it. They don't know. Yeah, they don't want to risk it. Bottom lane looks like Nixu having a bit of a tough time here. May could have gone for the kick. Oh. A bit too late. Purified by Nixu. The backup is here, and the kill goes to SDI. That was nice for Team SDI. Another bonus here for. Uh, for Yuji and uh, Nixu, uh, Nixu, Nixu doing pretty well as the Uranus. Nobody can stop him now. Yeah. Even the the Cho, probably the Cho can serve as an answer. But again, it's the Uranus meta right now without any burst right here. Oh my but gosh. as I say this, there is going to be a pickup here. Uh, okay. All right. Very, very close. Nothing. Uh, again, yeah. Geek Fam, they knew they were going to lose the bottom lane right away. So they went ahead and sacrificed that. They got a turtle on the top. Yep. They got a tower on the top. Yes. I would say that's still a win. It, oh. is, it is another equal trade again yes. for Team Geek Fam. May is just defending this. They're just joking around, both yeah. of these guys. The all planers <laughs> May and Nixu saying hi to each other. The yep. action is in the mid lane. Absolutely. But again, the camera chooses, <laughs> has chosen this one yeah. to view. And okay. Because uh, they, they, they know that Nixu's Purify is down. It's down, earlier. yeah. But they don't know that the timer is on Purify is very quick. So yes, definitely. May might be in for a bad time. And Nixu on the, uh, Oracle. the Oracle there, very smart pickup. Yeah. Extra HP here, extra sustain yeah. for Nixu. But again, Cartesi just going for the extra gold. Nixu yeah. defending the bottom tier tower Top as lane. Why Not and company All right, will try shot. will try to gank out Kripsu, but they will fail. But again, the firepower of Team Geek Fam is just so Ooh. huge right here. Demon Hunter Sword for Curtizi. That's 50% completed on the H the items that he needs. Yep. For the massive the amount of damage they're absorbing right now, Geek Fam. They're caught in a very bad position. Oh my! Why not? All alone. Two kills for nothing. STI all of a sudden. The Why Not's ultimate, I think, is on cooldown right here. And oh even Exhort. So with uh, SDI knowing that, that was the perfect opportunity for them to strike. Smart play, smart uh, play. Yeah, that is a smart play. Again, defense is the best offense here for Team SDI. With uh, with this, this type of composition, where you have all of this up 
what do you call this uh, zoning skills? Yes, yes. And, and if you if you fight inside a narrow uh, narrow space, you will definitely win. Yeah, and they were in a good position as well. There was no escape point. Yes. For Geek Fam at that point. But right now, again, Geek Fam, they're not going to take this uh, lying down. They yeah. will get something else in return. Yep. Getting that turtle for the equal trade. Getting another equal trade here. Value trade to be exact for Team Geek Fam. Exhort now having the lightning truncheon. There you go. Yep. But there are all these checkpoints. <laughs> so <for> many. <laughs> so, so many stuff on the map. Yeah. You know? so right now, May. I, there you go, May. Good thing you out. Oh, oh, the damage shot. But what the heck? Flame what? shot is real. Let's talk about the range. That is the answer. Yep. For Geek Fam and man. So scary, right? So now. scary, yeah. <laughs> the Geek Fam with a snap. When you hurt it, them, it, they hurt back really yeah. hard. Yeah, they hurt yeah. back really hard. Immediately turning the tides and getting Beautiful. back. And they now they are now pressuring all lanes here. And man, Exhort and company here, Sake TD and why not? Doing pretty well. Yep. And picking off heroes. Why not? Gonna be stunned up here a little bit. Not gonna be able to be dove in by Lembot. Yep. It's really scary to dive in on your own on a Kufer because if you go bouncing ball mode, you're yeah. gonna get <laughs> you're, you're gonna, gonna get, get bounced back. Yeah. You know, you're gonna get bounced back. Yep. So right now the control of the jungle is very critical and uh, Geek Fam trying to see if they can contest that as well. They're scaring STI right now. Yep. This is just legit uh, teamwork yeah. for Team uh, Geek Fam. You first land the Molina Smooch and then you will go for the Tyrant's Revenge. It's a big boom boom. <laughs> it, it's a big boom boom, yeah. like what you've said. 4 or 5 year. Yeah, Vintage that, Geek Fam. It doesn't feel like 4 or 5, right? It, it <laughs> doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> SDI, they need a miracle here. There you go. This is just a bait play from Nixu. Why not trying his best? Yeah, no one was really following. He was just scaring everyone. Yeah, just, like, yeah. You got you have we have four people on the bush. Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> while every while that was happening, Geek fam with a push on the tower. Oh my! So smart. Oh Bait, my! Please. This is just all about the lineup here. All about the draft here. And as Midnight said, he is eighty out, one hundred percent sure that SDI doesn't have a good draft against this type of composition. Yeah. For Team Geek Fam. What a statement. Yeah, right? what, what a, a statement. statement. He so, will definitely drink his coffee if Geek Fam wins here. But again, <laughs> SDI, the, we're not losing hope on you guys. No, Let's no. see. Is defense the best offense here? But again, Yuji falling down two times in the early stages of the game. That's definitely bad news. It is. And Yuji, one of their core mages here. One, two, and three. Oh my. Lemmod, zero, zero, and four. Not, ev not able to make any pickoffs. If yeah. As a Selena, you need to be able to make a pickoff yep. for you to be effective. Right now, you're just a walking ward. Yeah, you know? he, she, he is. Uh, probably a scouting arrow yeah, there. Yeah, scouts. For, scouts and wards. For, uh, for Team SDI. And Geek Fam, they just need to, be, to lessen all of these deep dives. And they will definitely get a, a beautiful setup here. There you go. Why not? Stretching yep. his arms. <laughs> May is lurking from behind. He will Whoa! target Yuji. But Yuji with the clutch ultimate there just to survive. Meanwhile, Curtisi is here. Flame shots coming in from everywhere. But Yuji is going to attack. Do Blazing do it on three. Yuji falling low. What a great follow up there. Again. Oh! oh, they got him. They oh, got the, what they needed. But the, the, the revenge. Bait. The bait. Jebated. Jebated. Exhort with a feathered. Feather air strike. Four three. Four three <laughs> from the parking lot. Gets three. And that makes it two one for that skirmish. But still, Geek Fam, they want to get the mid tier tower. It's not over, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. They got the mid tier tower. But I think they should stop at that. Because right now, the rest of STI will be able to recover. The death timers are not that bad yet. Yes. So they're not completely down, but they're. It's a far. It's gonna be a far climb going yeah. back up on, on even. Oh my, outplays after outplays here, but man, Geek Fam having the Geek upper Fam, hand. Man. This is a free lord for the taking here. Plus, they are negating all of these objectives that uh, SDI can have. Yeah, just when you think Geek Fam was uh, about to go down. Yeah, you know the big revenge play. Just when you thought Curtisi, oops, that looks like a mistake. Yeah, no, it's not. That is. Patience. Patience. From uh, Kurtizi. If Again, if you're playing the Claude, you really need to have the, a huge amount of patience. Yeah, and look for that yeah. opening, the perfect opening to go for the big blazing duet. Yeah, the right? blazing duet. Again, yeah. it's your only... It's your only... Tool. It's your yeah. only tool 
for you to bring in the damage. But look at this. If you look at the minimap right now, me massive playing control. in the bottom lane, yep. controlling that bottom lane. So scary. And this battle completed as well. He, s he feels so scary. Because remember, this is going to be a scary fight on the top lane. 4v4. Who's going to die? big engagement on the back line. Curtisi, so scary. Goes for Lemba. But Grimsu, he's Grimsu. hitting everyone. He's all alone. Oh, oh the damage is not enough. Four heroes! Triple kill for Lamar for dead. Easy. Yes! And Exort, he's still alive! <laughs> Exort! <laughs> what the heck, man? Oh my! What? Bad news after bad news for Team SDI and free, this is a free lord! Geek fam on the verge of victory! On oh the verge man. of getting two zeros! And man! Oh, Kurt Easy! Kurt Easy! Such play after play! Blazing duets after blazing duets! Yeah! Wow. And anyway, wow. so far so good here for Geek Fam. They need to finish this as soon as possible if they want to close this out. We haven't mentioned Cripzu for a while now. Yes. I think he's just biding his time until he gets like a good item like a Wind of Nature or maybe Endless Battle completed with the Lifesteal yes. and the Spell Vamp item. So uh, I think this is the problem if your team doesn't have a good initiator. Yeah. Your carry will definitely go in front yeah. for him to get the damage going. But again, man. Oh, the... The zone Look at that when he goes down, when he goes down low, he goes back right away. Yeah, and you're left with nothing to defend. Yes, and again, the only person left for you to attack is the one in front of you, yes. which is always why not yeah. the Kufra, and you will take time. It will definitely take time for you to get all the damage. Great pickup, all of the these Kufra, uh, in these tanks, and man, ah. that is a free tower there on the bottom side. Geek Vam, hoping to end the dreams. Of SDI. <laughs> I'm about to end this mess career. Yes. That's what they're, the meme is real here happening right yeah. now. Why not inside the base though? He has immortality, so he's not super scared. And Exhort's so scary er, since earlier. May inside the base. Whoa! Whoa! Goes for the finish! What a. What? Geek fam! They didn't even know this! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Gets their first.